Hey there, Sagittarius. This is going to be a reading for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is going to be a career and finance reading because someone requested it. I don't do many of them because they really don't get that many views. And still, I'm not getting very many views for the ones I already posted. So um, let me know if you like these. Give me a thumbs up if you do. I like doing them. They're just not worth the time when um, nobody wants to watch them. Everybody wants to the love readings but we'll give it another shot here to see what happens okay guys so what do you need to know about your career or business so i'm also running um my diffuser with abundance oil in it and i say a prayer so that whoever watches the views this video will get abundance financial abundance and also they'll get some um really good energy towards their career or business work okay I put that intention out there too. Okay, what do you need to know about your career or business? Nine of Summer. Pomeranian dog. Now's the time when your dreams come true. Don't worry about how this will happen. Just give gratitude to God for all that you have and all that's still yet to come. Wow. So nine of summer be nine cups. So you have your wish fulfillment here with your career or business. And the bottom we have six of winter. Nice. So that'd be six of swords. Rescue cat, mixed breed. The challenging times are coming to an end and you can now breathe a sigh of relief. Let the past go and embrace the happier times ahead. Ooh, that sounds good. Okay, let's see now. And we have, ooh, the Seven of Wands. Okay, I feel like you're standing out, you're doing something. It almost feels like you're orchestrating something here. There's something you're in charge of. There's something you're delegating or something you're doing here with Seven of Wands here. And we have the sun. So there's a lot of happiness. Leo energy here. There is a lot of happiness. You have the sun with the nine of summer, which is nine cups. That is really nice. So there's a lot of happiness coming towards you. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. I also have my hem I'm tight. I'm tight. These magnets to try to attract abundance to you guys. Let's see. Ooh, six of coins. Alrighty. So I feel like there's going to be like an even give and take here. You're going to actually get compensated for what you're doing. You're going to have here faith card, higher faith. This is Taurus energy. So, and this is also Taurus energy. So it seems like you might have a Taurus around you or helping you. Could be your boss. Could be someone that's coming in. This is keeping the faith, having the faith in whatever you're doing that everything's going to work out well. This is also um, a commitment or organization. Have faith in the organization you work with. Or if you're starting a new business, have faith that it'll work out. Okay, now. Back, oops. Moving everything around here. Okay. <laughs> Let's see here. What can you do to move forward? The King of Spring. So this would be a this could be you. This could be like, oh shoot, I'm breaking everything up here. This could be a Sagittarius. It could be um a Leo with the lion here, especially, or an Aries. So inspiring, dramatic, ambitious, wise. Now's your moment in, to step up to leadership role. Don't back away from the spotlight as your plans will be successful so long as you stay focused upon the big picture. So that's it. You stand into your, you know, stand into your glory. This is you, the king of the, the jungle here. You know, this is your energy saying that you can handle whatever happens. So that's what you have to do. You have to take charge. Be in your power. Don't back down. Look how big this lion is. He looks like huge from the tree. I mean, I know he's probably up on the hill somewhere, but it just looks like the difference between the tree. And it looks like this little bird is looking at him. So, like, what's with that? Way up there. In your power. In charge. People looking up to you. And then we have the bottom. Oh, the strength. Look, another lion. So we have Messiah, lion, and lamb. 
true strength is displayed through kindness, forgiveness, and compassion. You have tremendous personal power and courage. Nice. Okay, let's see what else we have here. What you can do to move forward. Ooh, Queen of Swords. So this is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. This is knowing yourself. It just, you know, standing in your power. Just no matter which way you're coming or going, you're in charge. You're you're very powerful. You have a, a, a picture of the whole. It's like a picture of everything here. Almost like being vulnerable, but being strong. Knowing your worth. Okay, and then we have Oh, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, very strong Taurus energy here. Um, yeah, someone might have been coming to you slowly. They might, they either stopped or made their. There's something like someone's approaching you. What an offer here. They might have got detained. They were coming real slow. Now it seems like either that or they're moving real quick. Because it is reverse. But they were coming on the slow pace. Maybe they realize what's going on and they're moving quick towards you. Okay. Let's see. We have Page of Coins. Wow. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There is an offer coming towards you. And it's going to bring you a lot of happiness here because it's bringing you your independence. So whatever you're doing, I think I'm almost feeling like you're getting noticed. People are watching you front and back. They're really checking you out and they're liking what you do. So you might be getting some kind of offers here for more independence because they're seeing you able to handle stuff on your own. Take charge. Be the in charge person here. Okay. Now let's see. How can you be more financially successful? Two of summer, so that's two of cups. So lovebird, you're falling in love or experiencing a deepening of emotion in your current relationship. Marriages or romantic partnerships in distress can still be saved. Don't give up. So this is also a choice card. I'm um, no, it's not. That's the lovers. I'm sorry. Two of summers. This is a soulmate card. A connection. This could be a connection with someone in work. Partner up, maybe with someone. Maybe there's someone that you have to um work together with and that will help you be more financially successful. Maybe the two of you putting your heads together will really come up with a great um, successful scheme here. Okay. I don't know if I want to say scheme though. A business or an idea. Okay. Queen of Autumn. Thoughtful, caring, creative, um, ingenious. Okay. So Belgium here. You'll be given advice that's both practical and creative and should be followed precisely. Focus only upon the positive in every situation or person. Okay, so keep things positive here. Queen of Autumn. Okay, now. And we have the Five of Swords. Okay, there might be a little bit of um conflict going on here. Or maybe you need to debate matters more. Maybe you need to um, argue with someone to be more financially successful. You might need to take your power back somehow. Or there's something here. You also might have to be on the lookout of someone trying to be deceiving you in some way. Trying to steal something. Maybe an idea or something like that. We do have the King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financially st um, stable person here knows their money maybe also you can go to someone that's a banker maybe need to get a loan or maybe advice financial advice a financial person you might need to um attain some kind of um information here okay <coughs> sorry i got tickled Oh, two coins. Okay, so we have choices here. Here, decision, decision, two coins, balancing things out. Maybe you have to balance out your your life with your um your personal life with your business or something needs to be more in balance to be financially successful. There might be something maybe you have to balance the books more. Maybe there's somebody doing something 
crooked here and you have to check your books and make sure they're balancing out now we have the faith card again this is keeping this faith this is very strong taurus energy around you guys so um this like the higher event it's um religion it's beliefs it's faith it's commitment being committed to your cause having faith that things are going to work out Okay. Oh, look at this one on pop. Okay, strength wanted to pop out right away. Okay, so we're taking it. So that's for a word or what do you need to improve? And here's to having the strength here. True strength is displayed through kindness, forgiveness, and compassion. You have tremendous personal power and courage. So maybe you have to be kinder to others or somehow that's what's coming up here. Let's see what's on the bottom. Queen of Spring. Talented, brilliant, independent, charming. Persian cat. Don't underestimate your ability to manifest your dreams. You may have several um, priorities vying for your attention at once, but you can do it. So you may have other people around you that are attracted to you. Or they also could be attracted to your work and what you're doing. So you're, you're getting attention though. Definitely getting a lot of attention. And that could be... Um, uh, Sagittarius could be your energy, could be a uh, Aries or a Leo. Three of Wands. This is like almost having the faith to let things go where they're supposed to go. It's like you're following your dreams here. I think you're doing what you need to do. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. So this is um long-term commitment this is financial security maybe you need to improve on your next move or something you're doing here for this uh, long term maybe invest in something more long term put some money up or something into a long-term investment okay now what or whom is an obstacle you need to overcome Prince of Summer, we have romantic, flirtatious, introspective, enchanting frog. A deeply emotional and probably romantic experience will sweep you off your feet. Things can move very quickly during such whirlwind um, encounters. So save balance and make decisions with both your heart and your intellect. Kind of weird you have the decision cards here. And then it's telling you to stay balanced when you have the two of pentacles here. So, yeah, so someone might come in now while you're focusing on your career. And that might be an obstacle because they might be taking your attention away from what you want to do here. Oh, Prince or Prince or Princess Charming coming in. And then we have the Empress, but you're in your power here. Um, Angora Rabbit. Time to hop into action. Use your natural creative creativity to bring forth prosperity and success in your life so it's this is saying to me that even though someone comes in this prince of summer which would be the um knight of cups coming in with offering you love you are the empress so you need to stay in your power here because the empress is very creative very abundant able to create whatever they want so you can't be thrown off here so you know you can entertain the idea of this prince of summer but also just remember what you're doing here. You're trying to um, work on your your money here. But they also have the heart here too. I mean, this could be someone that could be very important to you here coming in. And that would be a Scorpio Cancer Pisces energy. And we have the High Priestess also. Very connected, very in tune. Start, and I would put the Empress as the High Priestess. You're able to manifest anything you want. You're also um, seeing things that other people don't see. You, this energy just feels like you're really focused on what you need. I mean, the High Priestess comes right before the Empress. So you have manifested this Empress energy by tapping into your intuition. And we have judgment also here. Yes, this person could even be coming back around from the past and maybe throwing you off a little bit. Might be a little test from the universe. You know, are you going to stay the course? Or, but, you know, are you going to, you know, 
don't give all your attention to this person because you need to focus on what you're doing here. Okay, let's see. What else do we have? So that might be your obstacle. <laughs> Someone is wanting your attention. Let's see. We have... Ooh, the Emperor. Now we have the Emperor and the Empress. So this person coming in could be the Emperor or could be Empress, whichever we want to put now. But you are a powerful match together. Maybe, you know, it says what what or whom is the obstacle you need to overcome. I'm taking it as this was an obstacle. But maybe they're going to be very strong, too. They might be very forceful, um, very demanding. And you have to stay in your Empress. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. Now, this Prince... That's coming in is the emperor. It could be an Aries that you're dealing with. And they might be very forceful, very demanding of your time. And that's going to be something where you have to say, listen, I'm working on my career. I'm working on my finances. You know, I will give you some time here, but I can't give you all my time because there's there you have to put yourself first with the Empress energy. And you're able to do that. You got the high priestess. Oh, so there might be an ending here, a painful ending. Could be with this relationship that comes in. Maybe it won't really go that far. Because there's, or there was a painful ending with this person before and they're coming back in. Because um, we do have judgment card, which means someone could be coming back in. And this is a painful ending. Oof. Okay, what is coming in the near future for you, Sagittarius? What is coming in here? See, we try to keep a career and finances and the love wants to sneak right back in here, trying to sneak in. You can't focus on your your career you got to focus on love <laughs> okay four of autumn squirrel be cautious about living a life of extremes or seeing things in black and white terms consider for example whether you are spending too much versus hoarding your wealth or giving too much emotionally versus building walls that keep people out now this is like the four of pentacles so something coming in where you might feel you have to hang on to this you might even be keeping what you're doing a secret too then there's nothing wrong with that but this is also like okay this is mine this girl is like saying this is my nut you know look at that girl hanging on to that nut thing you can't have it this is mine but this also could be that what's coming in too is that maybe you're like you don't want to be bothered with someone else you're like i'm just doing my own thing here we do have the nine of spring here so gazelle you worked hard and what you created is impressive and worthy of protecting annoying challenges may pop up but don't worry you'll get through them just as you have in the past see that's what it seems like you're protecting something you're protecting what you're building you could be building an empire and you feel that you need to protect it and that's what you're doing you're you know saving up your money you're building your empire you're you're getting ready for a rainy day you want to make sure that you know you're not going to be without Okay. Now, what else here? Why did I put a third card on here? I'll have to go back to that. How did I do that? Okay. Let's see. Ace of Cups. Wow. Okay. So, love is coming in. Something emotional, satisfaction, a happiness. There's something coming in for you. And we do have the Empress again. So, you are in your Empress power. Okay. Let's do this. And then I'll go back and put a card on there. Skip that one. Hi. <laughs> so what is coming in the near future? Let's see. Okay, so there might be a little conflict here. I mean, you have hanging on this, and you you have you might be fighting with someone coming in, really trying to offer you their love here, and you're focused on your career is what I'm getting. So there might be a little arguing over this, or there might be competition for your attention. And we do have the chariot, but something's happening quick here. This love is probably coming in real quick. And I think there might be content competition for you. You're trying to focus on your money, your career, your finances. And you, boy, Sagittarius, why is it always you guys? It's like you got this love that keeps on coming after you. This is a Cancer energy coming in real quick. Okay, now let me get a card that I missed on here. And this was for what or where do you need to improve? Maybe you don't need more than that. Let's see. What a strong. I did another card on that. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, page of wands. So there's going to be communication coming in here. And maybe it's, you have to improve your communication, but it's something that is coming in. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So you're going to be getting some type of um, maybe letter or document that helps you somehow. Okay, and we do have the three of wands again. 
waiting for something to come in here. Okay. Now, I can't believe I skipped that. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. Let's see here. What or whom is helping you? And we have, ooh, the star, Aquarius energy. Oreo, you are about to take a big leap forward with your life. Worry will be replaced with optimism. Fear with hope and joy is coming home to roost. Now, with this, this could be Aquarian helping you. Or it could be just, this is also the major arcana. So it could be the universe is helping you. That it's something happening here that you're in the spotlight. You're shining. You're getting a lot of attention for your work and what you're doing. You're getting noticed. Okay, and we have the five of winter. Okay, now here's a collie dog. So we have two collies here. They're pulling, they're doing a tug of war with a rope bone. And so it's like your current path isn't leading you towards the happiest possible outcome so why not change it always maintain in integrity and compassion but be alert to the hidden agenda of others okay so as what i'm getting here as as you're rising and you're getting this attention there's other people jealous and they might want to try to steal your your glory here they might want to try to step in and try to get some attention take it away from you try to block you somehow so be aware of that because the five of winter is like the five of swords and that is someone trying to start some trouble drama yeah you don't need that okay what else do we have here what or whom is helping you let's see we have oh two of pentacles again balance is helping you you're able to balance things out you're moving forward you're making a decision on how to balance your life to move forward so that is helping you that you're going to be in balance and we also have the page of cups huh a scorpio cancer or pisces there could be someone coming in here with an offer here maybe a love offer or, or someone that actually loves you that tries to help you somehow do something it could be someone younger than you too with the page of cups this is like almost like saying hey this guy's got a, he's balancing an egg on his knee so this is some kind of idea, some kind of new beginning, some kind of fresh start. And he's almost like saying, hey, look at me. I can help you. I can help you with something here. He's a very strange fish. It looks like this person has an egg in front of their face, too. There might be ideas or something coming up, new beginnings that you're not even seeing. And it's right in front of you is what I'm getting here. And you are. this is the balancing here because the two of pentacles is balancing. And there seems like there's people in the background watching you. Watching this new beginning that you're having. Okay. Let's see. Five of Cups. Now, fives, I just, I'm amazed at how many changes there are fives. I always, that always stood out for me. Five is in the card of change. This person is very distraught. They're, they're very unhappy, very sad. They broke these glasses, these goblets, wine flutes, all different sizes. So there's different things. And they're hanging on to these two other um, wine glasses. And they're, you know, they're like, this is all I got left. So they're not seeing, this is like not seeing the glass half full, seeing the glass half empty because they lost three chances or three opportunities or three things. Maybe three people deserted them or three things happened here. But they got the two here. And two, again, decisions. So you have to make a decision to get out of this, this um, depressed energy because this is um, depression here. Because you are manifesting. Look at this. The magician. You are manifesting whatever you want here. You are the star. So you have to stay in the positive to get more positive. If you're in the negative, you get more negative. So it's very important at this time because you are manifesting with the magician here. This is Aries or Aquarius. Mm -hmm. You are very strong, able to manifest your life into whatever way you want to shape it into the star. This is, you know, being connected with the universe. And then you have with the magician. That is very powerful. Okay, now, your potential outcome. Let's see, what is your potential outcome? Nine of Autumn, Ragdoll Cat. Okay, your success has brought you your financial security and the reward of much deserved time off to enjoy your own company. You may suddenly have a brilliant idea for a business or 
or self-employment opportunity that will be very successful. So this is this independence card. This is the nine of pentacles. This is you this is your potential outcome is that you can start a new business. It'll be a very good time to do it. You'll be successful. Okay. Then we have Princess of Spring. So this is um energetic, outgoing, optimistic, creative. So this would be like the page of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, same as over here. It's monarch butterfly. Created opportunities that you feel passionate about are flooding your way. Personal growth and Broaden horizons will spark fresh and original ideas. Yeah, you're on fire now. This is really taking off for you. Whatever you're doing, but you being focused on your career like you have been, it's really taking off. And you know, once something takes off, other parts of your life take off because you're generating that energy. So this is a very positive energy. So of course you'll be attracting love too. People are attracted to that upbeat, um, high vibration. And if you're doing well in your career, you're going to feel that. So let's see here. So don't let this creep in here. And we have the sun. Look at that Leo energy. A lot of happiness coming for you guys. And we also have the eight of swords. But you're stuck in your head. You're thinking about things that are not there. This person has a blindfold on. And she's imagining all these swords around her. All these daggers and all this stuff going on. And even a rose. But the rose has thorns. You know, it's like, so this is keeping yourself in this negative frame of mind. Which you don't need to be because everything is going out turn out great for you guys okay one more card here let's see and we have oh the tower something's gonna happen suddenly so there's gonna be a sudden change and here comes out the empress your empress card came out in every deck i think or did it come out this one before anyway it came out three times yeah i think it was i don't know but anyway it did come out three times, so you're definitely the Empress. This also could represent a Taurus or Libra, but you are able to manifest anything at this time. So, and even your you're manifesting your Emperor, your partner. So that's coming in. This could work out well. You just need to, you know, sort of focus on your career so that you can strengthen that, and then you know you'll be okay with the love. But you need to, if you're almost there, like you have one more step to get to where you want to be, don't give up now. Stay the course. This something's gonna happen out of the blue. Something sudden's gonna happen, but it looks good because it's gonna, you know, you got the nine of this is giving you independence here, and also bringing you a lot of happiness. And this could be a uh, Aries or um, Scorpio energy, but you are. This is the card of abundance here. So whatever you touch is just gonna grow. And of course, you have the magician too. So I would say you're doing quite well here, Sagittarius. This is a great reading. I hope you like it. I enjoy doing them. I really do. Okay, let's see. What sign are we dealing with? Aries. Taurus. Yeah, Taurus and Aries. Very strong here. Cancer. Cancer. Look. Well, look at that. Taurus came flying out. Taurus wants to be seen. Okay, and we have the Gemini. So very strong Taurus for you guys. And of course the Cancer here is twice, but I'm feeling the Taurus and the Aries. Cancer, didn't we have the chariot come out? Yeah, I think we did. So, you know, that's a fast moving energy. Okay, guys. So we have Aries, Taurus, Cancer, Cancer, Taurus, Gemini. This is placement of your chart. This is placement of else's chart. You know, this career of finance, you could be dealing with a lot of different people. So it could be different energies that we're having, we're putting together here in this reading. Um, please let me know if this, if you like these readings and um, if it resonates. If you want more of them, I'll tell you, I need more views though because they're really low. But, um, I appreciate all you like, share, subscribe. And I hope to see you guys again real soon. Thank you so much.